the Oweke Tenkai. The domain and range of a linear function. To discuss that, we are going to use this representative linear function here, f of x is equal to 2x minus 3. The domain and range of any linear function is easy to remember, but we are going to illustrate that for this video. The domain of a linear function is a set of all possible values of x that when substituted to our function, will still make the function real. We can rewrite this given function here in terms of y. y is equal to 2x minus 3, where y is your f of x. In this case, we are going to look for all possible values of x that, it, that can be substituted in this equation that will get a real number value for y. Now we can substitute here all possible values of x. Let's say a positive integer of 1. 2 times 1 is 2, minus 3 is negative 1, and negative 1 is still a real number, that's okay. If we're going to use here a fraction, let's say 1 half, 2 times 1 half is 1, minus 3, negative 2, still a real number. Even negative integers, let's say negative 4, 2 times negative 4 is negative 8, minus 3, negative 11, it's still a real number. We could even use here irrational number, such as square root of 2. So we have here 2 times square root of 2 minus 3, still a real number. This means there are no restrictions to the possible values of x that can be used for this given function. Hence, the domain of a linear function represented by this equation is the set of real numbers with no restriction. To solve for the range of a linear function represented by this equation, we are going to manipulate the set equation and solve x in terms of y. And then later, we are going to look for the possible values of y that can be used in such a way that the value of x will still be real. So we will start with manipulating the set equation. So we have y is equal to 2x minus 3. Let's add both sides by 3. So we will have y plus 3 is equal to 2x. Then dividing both sides by 2, we will get here x is equal to y plus 3 all over 2. Now, let's look at the possible values of y, or are there restrictions? Take note that the variable y can be found on our numerator. If we're going to use any, any other values of y, x will still be real, because your denominator is a constant. Let's say 1. 1 plus a 3 is 4 divided by 2, that's 2, real number. If it's 0, 0 plus a 3 is a 3, 3 halves, real number. Negative 10 plus a 3 is negative 7 over 2, negative 7 halves, real number. This means that there are also no restrictions for the values of y that will give us a real number for x. That would mean that the range of a linear function represented by the given function here is also the set of real numbers. So both domain and range of a linear function are real set or re, set of real numbers to illustrate further let's have this cartesian plane just for an illustration let us pick two values of x that will give us representative value for y and since this is a linear function we expect that our graph is a line and two points already determine the line let's start with this equation here if x is 1, our y is equal to 2 times 1 is 2, minus 3, negative 1. So our first point is at 1 and negative 1. Here is our first point. If we're going to use here x be equal to, let's say, 
negative 2 our y is equal to 2 times negative 2 is negative 4 minus 3 negative 7 so you have 1 2 and then negative 7 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 of course you could pick your own points here but just for illustration let me have this now if we're going to connect the two points we will have a line that's why it's called a linear function because the graph for this given function is a line notice if uh, let's let's find out if it's ready okay notice that our graph extends in both direction take note that the horizontal line is considered as your x-axis and the vertical axis is your y-axis as you move from left to right or in both directions all possible values of x has corresponding value of y if you're going to move that further move that further here there are no restrictions there are no breaks in the graph that means the possible values for x for this function is a set of real numbers same thing will go with the values of y as you move again with your x towards the right and towards the left you are also going to move your values of y to the positive and negative infinities there are no breaks in the graph in short there are no restrictions for y this is why the domain and range of a linear function are both the set of real numbers for the next functions please don't forget to like this video share this comment down and subscribe to our channel it is for us to expand further